Hey, good morning, Steve here. I'm um, just having my first cup of coffee, and today I wanted to talk about photos, so that's what we're going to do. Um, first, let me give you a little context. I actually, in another life, was, or I guess still am, a professional photographer. I used to travel all over the country um, and even the world a few times. I did all sorts of fun stuff. I've seen all sorts of cool stuff. I've met all sorts of fun people. I photograph families, weddings, models, famous people. I love, I love literally everything. Well, most things about photography. I love the stories that, that get told that wouldn't otherwise. I love that anyone can do it. I love that it has existed in some form or fashion for a long time. I just really kind of love it all, to be honest. Um, one of the things I really love to do is to search old photo collections. First and foremost, I think it honors the, the photographer and the subjects of the photographs themselves, because we're kind of looking back through history and, and with the collections that I look through, I mean, this is just a random dude or person or woman with a camera, and those photos get lost to time unless someone like me takes the time to go through them and sort them and scan them and uh, kind of like a gatekeeper to history in, a, in like a positive way. Um, so it also for me personally, it allows me to kind of keep my skills sharp in, uh, with photography since I'm not shooting as much as I used to. It also a lot of these photos need restoration. So I get to practice Photoshop and all that stuff. And every now and then I'll actually uh, get to help someone restore uh, one of their family's images and then actually give them back that image, which is always really neat. So um, also all the little rabbit trails that the photographer, the, the photos will allow you to go down. And you get to learn a lot of history. Also, um, what's cooler than finding like that decisive moment, like Brisson's decisive moment in a, in a stack of photos of a, of a unnamed photographer lost to time Um that just nailed it on this photograph. I, 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 it's, it's just awesome. And it happens. It happens. So, um, today we're just going to go through some of these photos and we're going to check. Oh, one last thing. One major reason. There's a lot of puppy photos and you can't go wrong with puppy photos. So, and you'll see a lot of those, um, <laughs> as, as we go through all this. So I thought it'd be a fun idea every now and then it's kind of a relaxed way to kind of come on here and just kind of go through a couple of photos, kind of explain why they stuck out to me. Uh, one, just as a collector, but also two, as a professional photographer and how, um, we try to kind of use those two skills combined to kind of pick out the real gems, uh, not only for ourselves, um, and for the print shop, but also for you guys, so we can bring you the cool stuff. Because, like, I, I make sure I grab things that aren't necessarily just for me, uh, but because I know that other people will like them. And we'll talk about who collects what and why I think they might collect what they collect. Anyway, we're just going to have an ADD fun. Hopefully, we'll do this more often, and it'll be great. All right, the first image I want to show you guys is, like, oh, look at this little puppy. I found this photo in some random collection. I don't know when, I don't know where, I don't know who took the photo, zero context. All I know is this smile is awesome. And it's one of those photos that I'm just, no matter how bad the world gets, I still live in a world where this dog exists and that makes it at least 1% better than it was. So kudos to you dog and photographer i dig this shot the composition is great the moment's great the dog's ears are perky the 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 background framing is is pretty interesting i even like this little white spot here in the front of the photo because it's kind of even a leading line into the the dog's face which of course is amazing so great photo love the photo no notes love it dig it it's available for print <laughs> Sticking with the vintage original photos, this is another photo in our shop that I just absolutely adore. Um, just a really cool example of brothers being brothers. And again, another one of those moments that kind of transcend all of humanity and time. Um, it's just a real strong composition. It's, it's just it's just cool. I just dig it. I hope you guys dig it too. Probably 1930s, early 1940s maybe. Somewhere in that range. So, super cool. Dig. I love this photo. You have to excuse my horrible thumb there. But I'm a book guy. And I just love all of these books in this background. And I also love these records. I love the the, the wall, the TV, the, the girl doll. I mean, this is just like peak... 1950s 1960s early maybe like design and like teenage nailing it and so i love the photo it's a great representation uh lots of folks like to buy these kinds of photos uh one because nostalgia is always a thing and also two a lot of people use these as references 
for set building or other design projects. And of course, there's crafters and all sorts of stuff. I love the photo. It's interesting. It's like peeking back into to history. But at the same time, it again, and you'll see a common thread through all the photos I pick, it helps kind of we're all kind of the same throughout time because this is teenage rooms today. You just change the images on the, the, the record wall and change the books. I mean, the dolls, you don't even necessarily change. And with vintage becoming cool, you might actually find that TV in there. I don't know. I love the photo. It's cool. All right. This one we have here is a Christmas photo from 1955. You can tell it's Christmas time. You see the Christmas tree in the background there. Um, I think this is maybe some sort of party or get together. Or I don't know what's going on. All I know is I love this, this this moment these faces it's real it's genuine um the photographer is and i say this and I'm, I'm pointing to myself as well like the timing on something like this has to be you have to be lucky like you can you can you can get good and you can try to anticipate it but there's still an element of luck because this is not necessarily this is pose because it's you know the classic t pose but those faces you can't fake and that's one of the th things that i love about photography and, and not only is it like a technical art but it's an art of communication and expression and, and, and all of these different things because when you look at those faces it's just it's just great and i might be overthinking it the photographer could have just said something funny um it, you know or yeah, it could be something as simple as that but whatever it is I love it. It's a genuine moment. Um, it might even be a New Year's party, January 1955, um, it says on the side here. So anyway, I love it. It's interesting. Um, yeah. Here's another fun photograph sticking with the 1950s here. Um, I don't know if this is a high school or maybe early. It's probably high school, but it's a typing class. Check this out. This is what we used to type on before computer keyboards. And we, some of us used to, not me, I'm not this old, but, um, you know, I still see the, the giant cases, the, you know, the 50 pound keyboards that, or, uh, that, the, that these folks used to lug around. And, uh, I thought this was neat. Just kind of, uh, uh, again, just another photo that we have the same similar stuff. Now it just looks a little bit different. I'm really fascinated with like through lines throughout history, like how a postcard turns into a text or, you know, just take a look at, um, um, how delivering mail has, has changed over time. And, and this is just kind of one of those steps along the path, um, to a computer, uh, which has obviously revolutionized all of humanity. So it's just cool. It's just neat. It's just neat to kind of walk back through time like this. And this photo is a good example of that and plus it's well framed i like the angle here it's just neat a lot of going on repeating patterns it's cool nice expression on the faces i wonder this little girl's this guy's got some attitude someone's giving side eye back here i don't know it's fun i dig it's neat it's fun to kind of like let your mind wonder about what was going on because again i'm a photographer and i've taken like thousands of photos and and so like these interactions and like how they really go anyway i just i dig I really like photos. Can you tell? I wasn't kidding. I wasn't kidding. Now, this photo here, if I remember correctly, was a, a real photo postcard that we had found. And generally, those are from like the 1900s to like the 1920s or so. So old, like 100 years old. So let's look at this guy's hat. This guy's hat is just legit. But anyway, I, again, I'm a book guy. So I'm a sucker uh, for anything that has a book in it. And I just thought this is a really cool moment. This kid's feet are just dirty as all get out. These are just working class folks. And like taking photos is like a setup. Like there isn't like, I mean, I guess it can be casual, but like it took some effort, right? And they made this shot a priority. And I'm just, I'm just curious to see if that like translated throughout the rest of their lives. And I'd be curious to see like what, the generations that came after these folks, like how did that kid turn up? You know, if this if reading was such a priority for them. So I just, I just find this kind of stuff fascinating. And plus it's just a really old photo. Um, and again, just a really good example of, of reading and reading is good. You should read more. <laughs> However much you read, you should read more than what you're reading now. And I take that. I should take that same advice. So anyway, great photo. So the last photo, like I said, was a real photo postcard, but it was a print from a real photo postcard. I wanted to show you guys what a real photo postcard 
kind of looks like. Now, these two here are not in the best condition. However, I just think this is so neat. This is the same group of dudes, even though I think they added a guy from this photo to that, unless he's like invisible here. Anyway, um, you know, it's like just, you know, they went to the races and you could tell like with these hats it's generally early 1900s, um, you know. And uh, it's just classy, the little before and after, like, let loose kind of a thing. And they're, like, casual is still <laughs> a little more a little more businessy than our casual, isn't it? I think they added this guy with the glasses. The guy with the glasses is in, in this photo. Anyway, but this is what real photo postcards look like. They would, the, they would take the photo, and then they would print on, um, like, on the postcard on the back of this. Let me pull it up. You'll see that they're ready to mail. These, these, they're ready to send, and they would send just like this. You place a stamp on it, write it, and send it. Um, and and this is how a lot of photos went out then. So and this would be a service that the photographer would offer. So very neat, very cool. Um, I might end up saving these two and doing like a, like a uh, I don't know what they're called. I know when there's three, a trip tick. I do a tick, a die tech. I don't know. I'll have to look it up later. But um but maybe, maybe I really like this, and I, re I, I, I'm curious uh, where these, where these folks found a stuffed horse or whatever to do. There was, I assume they're at the horse races, and this was found in St. Louis, and I know we had race tracks here back in the day. So I think we've done four or five photos, and I think that's probably going to be a good amount for each video if we continue to do this, which I hope we do. This was actually kind of fun to just sit here and kind of look at these photos and just kind of ramble on and let the, let the brain fly a bit. So, um, this was fun, but I, again, another photo I found in a collection from some farm in, in the Midwest. Couldn't tell you, but, um, God, I love this photo so much. Look at this little puppy climbing the ladder. Look, look at this mom or it's like, or the farm. I don't know what's going on, but just so tickled pink that the dog came to follow. I was like, Hey, what's up mom? Anyway, I love it. And I even love the, the netless basketball rim. I just, I just dig it. I dig it. And when you travel in St. Louis and you, and I, and I live about 45 minutes outside of St. Louis, there's still a lot of farms. And I swear to you, if I didn't find this and I guess her fashion, it would kind of date the photo a little bit. But you still see buildings everywhere that look just like this out here. It's like in a lot of places, time is just just stopped moving. But um, God, it's so cool. This little dog. I wish I wish there were more photos in the series to where I could, you know, get a photo of the dog smiling or something. Anyway, I, I could go on forever. I just love it. I love everything about it. I love the framing. I love the ladder. I love that they knew to bring a camera out here because they knew the dog would do this. Um, I just, I love everything about it. And I think this is a wonderful photo to end on. Um, I hope it brings you a little joy. I hope it makes you happy. Uh, um, one of the main reasons we keep the photos that we do for, for Prince is if it makes folks happy and smile and, and, and just, and this is definitely one of those photos. So super cool. Thanks for swinging by. Um, Appreciate you.